Hey, what's up? My name is PJ, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to correct bad lighting in your live music photography. Hope you enjoy. Okay, this week we did Royal Challenge number five. This was the bad lighting edition in which I put up this picture with the horrible pink lighting and asked you guys to correct it and send me your edits. Um, it went pretty well. A lot of you guys did a really good job. I think the people that struggled are the ones that aren't music photographers and hadn't done this sort of thing very much. Um, but I had a comment on the video from Nico. You should do a video on fixing pink tones it would be very beneficial to those who can't. So here is your video, Nico. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna adjust is the camera profiles. This is the sort of thing that I think most people skip over because they either don't know what to do with it or if they do, they just kind of guess and play around, which is fine as well. But um, I think this is the most important and this is where you're gonna do the heavy lifting. I almost always change it to camera neutral. It's just a, a profile similar to the picture styles that you set inside your camera. Um, this will allow you to get it closer to what you see on the back of the screen um, as the JPEG preview. And I just find the camera neutral is the best one. It's a little more, um, a little less contrast, a little more flat and easier to work with. So I'm gonna start with the blue. I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna drop the hue on the blues. I'm gonna bump up the red hue. Cause I, I do really like the warm orangey sort of goldeny looking skin tones. And let's have a look at the green. Let's go this way as well. Cool, that's already a pretty big difference as you can see. Now, the colors are not too bad. They're a lot better already, but as you can see, uh, some work definitely needs to be done on the tones. So let's go and chuck a quick tone curve here. I'm gonna crunch those blacks a little bit. Down with the low mid mids, very small amount, and then up with the high mids. And I'm also going to drop these highlights a lot just to fix up these blown out areas here. Cool, that already looks a lot better. So next thing I'd probably do is work on the white balance. Like I mentioned, I like it to be quite warm. And we can go more on the magenta side so it's not looking too pink. That's looking pretty good. Cool, so white balance, not too bad. Toning is okay. Next thing that I would do would be the, let's do that, the HSL panel. So the easiest way to do it that I've found is to click this little bullseye icon here. Then you can literally click on the tones and you can just slide it up or down to change the hue. So let's go up a little bit. I also want to raise the luminance a little bit. So let's, let's do that again, just to bring those tones out a little more. Looking good. If there's anything that you don't really like, you can always just desaturate it in the saturation panel. Um, that looks okay to me. I also want to bring up the blues. I feel like we can just make this, this stuff pop around the outside as well. Let's change the blue hue just for shits and gigs. Let's do that to a nice, deep, bluey purple color. Okay, not bad, not too bad. The last thing that I would do, and I don't, I honestly don't do a lot of split toning, but it's a big trend in music photography at the moment, so I'll just show you quickly. Uh, you can pick a color for the highlights. A lot of people might do, for example, they might change it to like a warm sort of color, and then the shadows, they would do a bluey color. Or you could do the opposite, you could do like blue in the highlights, yellow for the shadows. That sort of look is, is really big at the moment, particularly in the American scene, in my experience. You can also change the balance, um, make it more on the blue side, more on the yellow. I think subtle is best with split toning. Um, personally, it's not really my thing, so I like to leave it, but it can definitely help in uh, correcting bad lighting. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Let's have a look at the before and after. As you can see, a lot more natural, a lot more flattering, a lot more pleasing because this is what skin tones closer to what skin tones actually look like. So there you go, there's the before and there's the after. Just to recap quickly, there's four things that you can do in order. The way that I would adjust those would be the camera profile, like the camera calibration, the white balance, the HSL sliders, and then I would end with split toning, if, if any. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat 
thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.